Hello everyone! Today I would like to speak about taping the grip of your cane in order to allow for better handling of your cane and avoid it slipping through your hands as the smooth surface can be quite slick. Using a tape cane in competition is allowed, however, the tape should not exceed the grip area which is defined as the lower quarter of the cane, so roughly 24 cm. As you can see here, I normally use less, about 20 cm. Taping can be done in many different ways and is mostly self-explanatory, but here is how I do it. I use tape for tennis or badminton rackets that is available for many different brands and in many different colors. For me, one tape is enough to tape two grips for about 20 cm. The tape usually comes with an adhesive strip and the tape itself. The first thing I do is to cut the adhesive strip in two. The tape itself is sometimes cut with a slope at its beginning. It also sometimes has a protective foil attached, which I remove. I then take a pen and mark the tape in the middle. Now, parallel to the slope beginning, I draw a line through my middle mark and cut along it in order to obtain a strip of tape with a slope on both sides. I want the second strip to be alike so I also cut a slope into the end of this one, again parallel to the first slope. On the first strip, with a pre-cut slope, there is often a small adhesive strip right at the beginning of the tape. I use the strip to attach the tape to the bottom side of my cane grip with a sloped side facing outward. Due to the sloped cut of the tape, I can start by wrapping parallel to the cane pommel. I then continue wrapping downwards always overlapping the lower tape layer with about a quarter or a half centimeter. I wrap downwards, keeping tension on the tape to avoid faults or noses that can be uncomfortable, especially at the lower part of the grip. Remember to unwind the tape a few centimeters every time when you see large faults or noses. You can now see that as I reach the end of the tape, I can continue to wrap and the introduced slope results in an even ending. I fix the ending with one of the adhesive strips.
For the second piece of tape, the procedure differs only at the beginning. As I do not have an adhesive part on that tape, I have to make sure to really cover the loose end with the first wrap, as the applied tape may unravel when it is sticking out. This was a short explanation of how you can tape your cane. Please let us know if you have questions or comments.